Well, I'm here at the storage DNA booth here at BVE 2016. I've got TC with me. Hi, TC. How are you doing? Yeah, very good. Now, we're going to talk about archiving solutions. Uh, tell us about what we've got here. Yeah, so uh, what we have here is our latest integration with uh, Sony's optical disc archive. Yep. And uh, we're doing something very, very interesting with it. Uh, you know, traditionally people think of an archival medium like the Sony optical disc archive, and they think, hey, you know, it's something I'm going to use yep. to put my data away for 50 years, and yep. I may, and I hope I never have to get it back. Yep. It, which is traditionally how LTO tape media has been used. Yep. Uh, you know, we all know that the amount of data that we are getting is growing every day. So, you know, our hard drives, which is where we've been traditionally dumping all our files, are filling up faster. Uh, and if you're talking about shared storage, you know, it's, it's expensive, right? I mean, if you're talking about an, an, an ISIS or, you know, uh, a, a large NAS, you're yeah. going to be spending a lot of money filling it up. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, there are pressures on the creative department to repurpose content. Yeah. So, you know, there's a bit of a tug of war going on, which is, hey, you know, how do I manage my storage, keep my costs down? But yeah. at the same time, how do I enable accessibility so I can repurpose and re-monetize, right? So what we're doing is something very interesting. We've, you know, we, we like to think that we've invented a new tier of storage. So if you look at Sony Optical Disk Archive, what really interested us was that, I mean, if I pop this open, I'm, I don't need to pop it open, you can see one of these clear ones. Yes. There are basically 12 Blu-ray discs inside, and each disc spins anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 RPM. So it's pretty much like a random accessible hard drive. Yeah. So what we did is, you know, we worked for about two years and what we wrapped around the storage medium is intelligence which allows you to store data on this for 50 years, put it on a shelf, but also mount this directly like a hard drive and use it in an Avid, use it in an Adobe. So an editor can just repurpose content directly and on the fly. Yeah. So we're expecting you know, departments and, 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 and the industry to look at this medium and say, hey, you know what? It sits somewhere between my online expensive hard drive storage yeah. and my deep archival LTO. Now, we don't believe it's going to replace either, but we do believe that some amount of data that's living on these two mediums that's constantly being shuffled back and forth will now live on this medium because it gives you random access, yeah. ability to work with it in your edit bay, but at the same time, put it on a shelf. And you know that's what we think. This is something very in interesting for the industry, in light of the fact that we are generating so much content now. So. Uh, it looks an amazing system. Um, as far as compatibility with editing systems go, what, what's it compatible with? Well, see, at the end of the day, we are mounting this medium pretty much like a hard drive, right? So you see files, yeah. uh, but there are obviously nuances with Avid, nuances with Adobe, and we worked through them, right? Yeah. So, for example, you know, from an Avid or from an Adobe, you can spit out an ALE or an EDL, and the system is smart enough to identify the media, which cartridge it's sitting in, which disk it's sitting on, and actually mount the right media for you, so you don't have to sit there, you know, shuffle uh, and, and plugging in drives yeah. one at a time. So, you know, we've taken care of a lot of interesting aspects and nuances with uh, how it works with an Avid, with an Adobe, with a Final Cut, or, or for that matter with any other transcoding or repurposing application uh, that you may have in your creative suites. TC, that's great. If people want to find out some more information about your system uh, and about the Sony system here, what is the website they can go to? Yeah, so www.storagedna.com, but, you know, our Twitter handle, which I highly encourage, for all the latest information that we have is at storage underscore DNA. I would say that's our preferred, you know, if you want to keep track of what we're doing, what we're releasing, and we'll have a lot of interesting announcements between now and NAB around our technology with, with Sony. Yeah. So I would say that's the best way to, to you know, to stay in touch with uh, what, what we're up to, so. TC, thank you very much. Go and check them out on the website and make sure you follow them on Twitter. We put both that pieces of information are on screen now. And everything else we've been doing here at BVE 2016, of course, is on our website. That's kitplus.com.